Alright folks, so I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that someone high up within the Democratic Party establishment is suddenly saying things that they should have been saying a very long time ago. Trying to convince other Democrats to embrace progressive policies. The bad news is that the individual who is saying said things is Chuck Schumer, whose word is not uh, worth a damn, uh, which is which is a shame. Uh, Chuck Schumer is probably the uh, most feckless, least ineffectual leader in the Democratic Party, worse than Nancy Pelosi. Uh, but what he's saying now, I've got to give him credit. It's good. The problem is that I don't necessarily know if he's saying this because he believes it or because he's looking out for his own behind. Nonetheless, I'm interested and I want to hear more. So in an interview with Anand Giridharadas, Chuck Schumer was asked about his expectations for the first 100 days of Joe Biden's presidency. And what he said is shocking. He says it ought to look like FDR's presidency. One area is climate with a big, strong, aggressive climate agenda that takes into account working people, takes into account racial injustice. The second is wealth and income inequality, obviously raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour, changing the tax code so it's fairer for labor rather than capital, strengthening labor unions. One of the reasons working class incomes have declined is the weakening of the labor movement. We have to strengthen that. We need a big, broad infrastructure bill and it could create millions of jobs. A lot of those jobs should go to poor people, people who have had prison records. And these are good paying jobs, getting rid of student debt. I have a proposal with Elizabeth Warren that the first $50,000 of debt be vanquished. And we believe that Joe Biden can do that with the pen as opposed to legislation. Then there are issues that don't seem related to income inequality, but are immigration reform. Criminal justice reform is another economic issue. If you have a small conviction for a minor crime, you can never get a good job. I like the idea of paying care workers more. The third area is democracy. We've got to change the structure of society, making it easier to vote. We can change America structurally that way. So it's a big, bold agenda. My job is to get as much of that passed and the votes for it, which is obviously not something I can snap my fingers and do. I want the boldest agenda that we can get the votes to pass. Chuck Schumer just said all of this. What? Has he been cloned and is the real Chuck Schumer like locked in a basement somewhere? But there's more because he took to Twitter to uh, endorse legalizing recreational marijuana saying voters in four more states just voted to legalize adult recreational use of marijuana. It's past time to end the federal prohibition on marijuana and work to undo the harms done by the war on drugs, particularly in black and brown communities. So let's just stop and try to digest everything that he just said, because this doesn't sound like Chuck Schumer. Uh, so first and foremost, let me just say that after elections, Chuck Schumer usually sounds like a very different person. Like in 2016 or 2017, more specifically, after Democrats just lost to Donald Trump, he talked a pretty big, big game. He was saying basically, oh, you know, I I'm going to hold Donald Trump accountable. I'm actually excited about this opportunity to hold him accountable. And we saw how that turned out. He fast-tracked dozens of Donald Trump's federal judicial appointments. We just saw with Amy Coney Barrett. He did fuck all to try to stop that process. So when it's Chuck Schumer, I've learned that anything he says, we have to take it with a grain of salt. Having said that, though, is what he's saying good? Yeah, objectively so. For Joe Biden to say, or excuse me, for Chuck Schumer to say, rather, that Joe Biden should cancel student debt, and not only that, that he can do it via executive order? That is is amazing. Good job, Chuck Schumer. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. Good job, Chuck Schumer. Wow. Now, I will believe it when I see it, because whenever a Democrat commits to a bold agenda who previously did not support said bold agenda, I take that as a cue that they want us to demobilize, let the pressure, you know, a little bit off of them. Not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. I'll believe it when I see it. And until I see it, we will put pressure on you and exert as much pressure as possible to get you to buckle and break. Um, but there's a reason why he's probably saying this. In fact, why he's definitely saying this. Chuck Schumer has a very big election coming up in 2022. And in 2021, he could very well be primary by someone who, if this individual chose to primary him, had a very good shot at winning. 
Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Chuck Schumer knows damn well that if he were to see a primary challenge by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, he might get jail crowded. He does not want that. So, you know, it could be the case that I'm just a little bit too cynical and he had a genuine change of heart. But what do we think is more likely? We're not naive. We know what this is about. Chuck Schumer is scared shitless that AOC is going to primary him. There's been talks of this for years now. He doesn't want that to happen. And as a result, we get this. Look, I honestly don't care what his motivations are so long as he's saying this. But more importantly, I want him to follow through on these things. Like if he's saying Joe Biden should be progressive and I will help facilitate said progressive agenda, that's good. And I'm going to take yes for an answer and count this as a victory for the left. But again, I want to caution the left that when we hear Democrats say things like this, you don't just take them at their word. I mean, Biden's campaign is saying we're going to actually follow through on this progressive agenda. And I say, great, but show me, don't tell me. Because the minute we let our feet off of that gas pedal, they're going to betray us. If we do not supervise them constantly, 24-7, they're going to get out of line. So we have to be loud. We have to bark orders at the Democratic Party establishment constantly. Otherwise, they're not going to do what we want them to. So meanwhile, um, I would like to see what else Chuck Schumer is going to endorse. If we can get him to uh, tweet out support for defund the police or decriminalizing all drugs, you know he's really afraid of you know a, a primary challenge. But either way, I mean, this is really entertaining to watch. To see Chuck Schumer suddenly embrace progressivism, it just shows you how powerful and important primary challenges are. You know... You know the, you know the thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.